Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about the new trailer because a lot of you guys were freaking out online about it. Uh, obviously, Movie Tracker posted a picture, which I'll post right here, and they were saying that the new trailer is coming. Last time they posted this uh, for the previous trailer, uh, we got the trailer, I think, about a week or two later, and it was four days or so before Infinity War came out. And I know a lot of people were like, yeah, but they made that trailer for Infinity War. And that's true. It was in front of some screenings of Infinity War, but I saw Infinity War twice in a theater, and neither time did I see the Venom trailer. So it wasn't in front of every screening of Infinity War. And the main thing was they got it online a few days before and they were trending for a couple days in like the top three on YouTube with 64 plus million views on that. And so I said in a previous video that they don't really need to target any big movies coming out this summer. So when everyone was putting all their eggs in the Mission Impossible basket, I just knew you guys were setting yourself up for disappointment. And I was trying in one of my previous videos to say, hey, look, if it doesn't come, don't worry. We'll probably get it in the next two or three weeks. And with this, you know, from Movie Tracker, that is confirmed. We're going to get it in a few weeks. So we just need to chill out and relax. And I know a lot of people are disappointed. Some of you were even writing me saying, hey, do you think Sony knows that people are disappointed that we didn't get a trailer at Comic-Con revealed online? And I'm, if Sony does know that, I'm sure it's not a big deal to them because what has to matter to them is marketing this movie correctly correctly. And if they rushed another trailer out there with bad effects, you guys would be crapping all over this movie. And so would a lot of other people, uh, because I know a lot of you out there would be like, oh no, I'll accept, you know, unfinished effects, but that's not how you market a movie. You don't release things early unless it's for a privileged audience. And that's what it was for Comic-Con. So luckily an image leaked out there for you guys. So you could at least get a, a peek at it to tide you over for the new trailer when it comes out. So we just need to relax and chill. We will get this trailer. It'll be worth the wait. And I know that's hard for a lot of us. Uh, but the thing is we got to worry about expectations. And that's what I try to talk about on this, ch on this show and on this channel is tempering those expectations. You've heard me say it since the early episodes of this show. And that's because a lot of people will take information and spread it information that isn't true and not confirmed by anyone and everyone was using the eddie's you know eddie's clubhouse twitter account as their source they were saying look he says next week they're coming back we're going to get a new trailer and if you read that you know in context if you read that tweet uh, that is not what that tweet said at all what that tweet said was until next week and if you look at what that twitter account was doing that whole day it was answering fan questions and that's what eddie's clubhouse is in the comic books it's an editorial letters column where you can write into the comic book and then eddie brock or venom or the editor of the comic will respond and post it you guys know that because in my show I've been writing to the comic book every month uh, for most of the Mike Acosta run and then for a little bit of the Donnie Kate stuff, I've been trying to get a letter into a Venom comic book because that would just be awesome to me. I've always wanted to be in a letters column and I've written tons of letters uh, to, you know, handwritten ones when I was a kid, but emails and stuff uh, as an adult to Marvel to try to get into one of their books, whether it be Scarlet Spider or Venom or Spider-Gwen, I've written a ton of letters and I've never been successful. So they must just not like me on a personal level. I'm going to start taking a personal Personally, Marvel. Um, but that's what that is. You write in as a fan and then they respond. And that's what this Twitter account is. So if you look at the Twitter account all day last Friday when they were at Comic-Con, that was Venom Day because they did the signing that day with Tom Hardy and Riz Ahmed and Ruben. Uh, and then they also did the panel. And so that's why they decided to do it. And so it looks like every week that this you know Twitter account will just answer random fan questions or give us something, you know, give us some kind of little episode they did because they posted like episode one. They had uh, Ruben Fleischer do an intro to it and then they answered some fan questions. So it might change up here and there, uh, but for the most part, it never said it was releasing a trailer. And a lot of people took that and ran with it because they were wanting a trailer and they thought that's what it was inferring. And uh, that's what happens when you want something so badly, everything you read comes across as a confirmation that you're going to get that. And that is not what was happening here. So we need to calm down because I even saw websites, uh, you know, of course, websites with no integrity and no, you know, talent and no like ability to research something, but they were posting it. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm not going to be like them. That's not what this channel is. I'm not out there to get people's hopes up. And then when it doesn't happen, look how bummed out everyone was. And that is not my goal is to bring everyone up so that you can drop. I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to give you the information. I have and any information that I can go and research and get for you guys, I try to bring it to you. And I will definitely be wrong sometimes. Nobody's perfect, obviously, but I try my best not to be like some of those other sites out there where they're just looking for those views, looking for those clicks. And, you know, and I've gotten critiques, people saying, dude, you should have more subscribers. You should have more this, you should have more that. And the reason I don't is because of my methods. I think I try to be a little bit more 
honest, I don't do, you know, super clickbaity, you know, titles for my videos. Even my thumbnails are a certain way. And, you know, so, cause I kind of like having that little, you know, rectangle, like a comic book where it says like Venom vlog episode, whatever. It's like, I have a way of doing things and it's not what people are used to here on YouTube because everyone here is more about that growth at any cost. And me, I would love to grow, but not at the cost of me, you know, feeding false information to you guys. And if I get something wrong, I'll definitely admit it and I will apologize for it, but I don't wanna be apologizing every week because I'm just rushing to get stuff out there to you guys. Uh, I want them, you know, I want to put a little bit more thought into the stuff I talk about with you guys and give you my honest opinion as always. So with this information, hopefully now we can all kind of calm down. We have some expectation. Sometime in the next maybe two weeks at the most, we will get this new trailer and uh and you know it'll be worth the wait so we just got to calm down and relax and until this trailer comes out i promise you i will try to deliver some fun content to keep our minds off of it hopefully um and at least you know because obviously i'm never going to make something that's going to be as cool as a venom trailer uh for sure but i will try to you know talk more about the comics we'll get back to that next week i'll do the panel uh stuff that they talked about at comic-con we'll get through those videos this weekend and we'll just try to you know keep it light on here keep it fun keep it chill and keep our expectations tempered and not go out of control and that's kind of what I want, uh, you know, the, the best case scenario is that we just all kind of calm down and we don't just believe everything we read and we don't infer of what we want to happen. Um, we just kind of take things for as they are. Uh, but of course, like I said, even I will not do that all the time. I'll get things wrong. So that's where I want you guys to call me out if I ever do that as well. But let me know what you think of all this information down below in the comments. As always, I want to hear your opinion. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.